Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'll be reviewing everything that was covered this week in DevStream 74. For this week we were joined by Forsythia, Johanny, and Peter. These three were dressed in festive outfits for Halloween, and this stream was mainly focused around the Halloween update to the game. So really, let's just get right into this. The stream started off with some network issues that made it so the Twitch side of the stream simply wasn't able to work, as well as the first 16-ish minutes being just us waiting for the stream to start. But when the stream actually finally got started, they announced a booster apocalypse for this weekend. This one will last a little bit longer than usual, but will work the same way as it always does. Next up, Johanny addressed the lighting issues on nighttime ground time, saying that he thinks it looks bad, but they are focusing on the next update so they won't be able to fix this, and it's really only a problem on Halloween maps, and because of that, it isn't really a major issue, so when the Halloween maps are removed at the end of the Halloween event, this problem is just going to go away. Following that, they did a crowning Battle Pass code giveaway by flashing some codes on the screen briefly, and they did this throughout the stream, but it was something that engaged chat into trying to get codes for various regions and various platforms. A bit later, they stated that they are working on a future feature to combat AFK players in ELIM, stating that for now we should use the report system to report these players, but that they're planning something larger in the future in an upcoming update. A decent bit later, they addressed the LMGs, first confirming a second overwork for them is likely coming, and interestingly stating that the first LMG nerf didn't really work at all. Apparently, the usage of LMGs didn't go down at all. It went up, actually, which proves that there does need to be a second series of nerfs for them. Um, but more broadly, they did also reiterate that they are still working on overhauling all weapons across the board. This was an extremely short dev stream that was not very informational. It was fun, though, because the devs were dressed up in Halloween apparel and they answered Lots of fun, you know, more interactive questions rather than really informational ones. Um, but that's really all I've got for you guys today, and I hope to see you all next time.